Previously on Free Roam Fridays. Go right at the crossroads. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. Drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. Bear right again here. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. And we're live. Welcome back to part 89 of Free Roam Fridays, where we free roam with Arthur in chapter 3. Finally, we are getting back into the swing of things, more or less. I understand my upload schedule has been annoyingly random, and I do apologize for that. My life is in chaos currently. I don't generally like it when YouTubers complain, and I'm not complaining, not really. However, I am so busy right now. I am remodeling a house, and that involves demolition, and flooring, and painting, interior and exterior. I am also moving, which is very stressful for both me and Super Sadie, the channel dog. Consequently, I have to focus on my day job to pay for everything. It's a big mess right now, and honestly, it's not going to calm down until October, at the earliest. But for now, and for today, we are back with Arthur who has been cooking up a storm as we had a nice conversation and caught up. We better get started. I wonder what's going on in Saint Denis. If you are new to this channel, greetings. I'm your friendly neighbor, Super Antonio, and please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. think you are, sir. Good afternoon, officer. Are there any criminals you feel are above the law who need a stern talking to? Come on, move it. Hello? Hi, ma'am. And what about this Chelonian Joker? We better make sure he's not disturbing the peace. Take a pamphlet and learn all you can about our wonderful approach to religion. Good afternoon, sir. State your business or move along. Hello, mister. Hello, sir. Can I interest you in Chelonianism? Uh, I don't know. Can you? Well, I hope so. It is a fascinating religion that was taught to a very wise master about a hundred years ago in a land not very far from here. Take a book, please. Leave me alone. Okay. You've made a wonderful choice. It is a religion of safety. A religion made by gods who understood what life is. Not what life could be, but what it is. And it is very dangerous. But with Chelonianism, it can be safe. Well, it's all in this book. Uh, am I boring you? Uh, a little. I'm sorry. Have a wonderful day. Please! This kind of closeness cannot happen overnight. 
teachings of our master. This land is our heaven, and the two oceans are our shells. It is only here that we can truly be ourselves, where man can find his place in heaven. This, this is Chelonia, the one true American's religion, the one true Bible that was handed down 100 years ago, this year, to our prophet from above. Well, he seems harmless enough. He's all in white. Looks very respectable. Hear the truth and rejoice, for you are saved and already in paradise. If only you had the wisdom to understand it. Chelonia, America, they are the same thing. If savages could prosper here, how much better shall the white man do in this sacred place? No more kings! We are all kings! Our prophet told us this 100 years ago. I'm told the savages are giving businesses a terrible time up north. Ah. Hey, Let yo. us pray together Bonsoir, and give thanks Good evening. for our redemption. Good day so far. The redemption mm. of this sacred place, Chelonia. This is Chelonia. We are all Chelonians. Embrace your... Angelo Bronte's mansion. There is a rumor that one of his minions will drop an M1899. We have yet to find one, at least not in Chapter 2 or 3. The M1899 is unlocked in Chapter 4, so it's not such a big deal then. Howdy. Do you want to be safe? The hey, ma'am. A pleasant evening. How are you, ma'am? Hello. Evening to you, mister. It's getting dark. Let's patrol. There may be crime to fight, or a citizen in need of assistance or rescuing. We are in the hero business, after all. Yes, Someone there? We might as well help this joker. He may have a tip for us. Oh, good day to you. Do you have anything you can spare for a blind man? Oh, thank you, sir. Uh, truly, thank you. It means a lot to me. Uh, please, there's someone here. Alms for the blind. And it appears as if this gentleman is actually blind. My apologies, sir. One naturally assumed you were another miscreant eager to bilk the good citizens of saint -Denis out of their hard-earned cash. Carry on, sir. Let's move on. Checking the door locks. Hey, mister. Good evening, mister. Everything seems to be in order here. Oh, well. And some random furniture out on the street. Oh, I do like that chair. I would buy that chair. No contraband in here. Just checking. A 
A toy store. Wish we could get Jack something. Hello, sirs. Hello, sir. Senor. How do you do, sir? Saludos. Gentlemen. Hello. Hello, officer. Hello, mister. Hey, folks. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. May bonjour. What's going on at the theater? <clears throat> Mister, how do you do? Get lost on the way to the outhouse? Welcome, welcome. Oh, and these jokers. I hate these kids. Why don't you say that again? Oh, hell, make a break You for run it. real good. Hurry on home. My apologies, sir. I thought you were part of that annoying Angela Bronte crew. We might as well see if you have anything interesting. Oh my God! Jesus, no! Leave me alone. Stay there. Stay still or you're dead. Let's Will just all help me? take a breath. Oh well, this is awkward. We need to evade law enforcement, but I don't want to risk the white Arabian. Perhaps we can take this trolley all the way to Tahiti. Good evening, madam. Tickets, please. A health item is in order. These sand knee coppers have no sense of humor. Perhaps we can borrow this coach. Then again, maybe not. Don't worry about that horse, he's only sleeping. Let's try to hide out in the mayor's mansion. Arthur is getting impatient, and this looks like a job for the sawed off. Oh, 
We can borrow this horse and make a quick exit. <laughs> No joy. So many sleepy horses in Saint Denis. And this is awkward. To live and die in Saint Denis. But the good news is, it's still night. We can continue our patrol. Officer. Hello. Good evening, officer. Do you require any, shall we say, extra legal assistance tonight? Hey, friend. And we have a bounty of over 200 bucks. Money well spent, if it maintains our cover as a notorious outlaw. Madam. Hello. We better check on the White Arabian. I've been trying to move out of Sandy for over a year now. Yeah, good girl. She's fine. Have an apple. Hi there, folks. Checking more alleys, looking for crime. Howdy, fellas. Mister, mister, get a load of this rube. Yeah, you might have an accident coming your way. Howdy. Hello. Oh, and speaking of crime, these jokers really need a stern talking to. Mister? Hey, Come Hello, here, man. Trust me. You want to hear this. I, uh, I promise. Yeah. You gonna want to hear this. Hey, you interested in some quick money? I am talking real quick. Yeah, now, it's too open here, but, um, follow me, and we'll chat. Yeah. Hey, what the hell? I'll cut your fingers off and feed them to you, son! His partner's around here somewhere. What the hell? Trick sucking animal! This is uh, very kind of you. <laughs> this is not a job for the sawed off. This looks like a job for old knifey. <laughs> this is actually our cooking knife, which Arthur hates to use for killing. However, any knife in a storm, as the old saying goes. <laughs> Let's move on. What's back here? We will never know. And this door seems to be in order.
Finally, we found something. A free cigarette card. Here is Lawrence Carson. Some sort of musician, I suppose. And the map, if you have need of this card. I used to be obsessed with those cigarette cards, first year of game release. These days I like having them in the open world, but I don't really feel the urge to collect them. Let's move on. This is very strange behavior. Warner? We should do a recce of the Trapper's Marketplace. Everything is closed up for the night. Uh-oh, mister. <laughs> I wonder what the trapper has back here. This is an awkward photo. Let's put it on the IG, as the youth of today are fond of saying. Link in the description, along with links to the merch store, my second channel, and our Discord. Also, consider supporting the channel with a membership. Click the Join button for as little as $1.99 a month, 6 cents a day, to get your name or channel name in custom end credits. And help keep the lights on at Team Super Antonio HQ in San Denis. I'm sorry there. I believe more exploring is in order. How y'all doing? Good morning to you. Hi. Nice people around here. Hmm. How are you? I see better days like that. Morning to you. Hey there. Hello. You staying out of trouble? Hey, move it! Excuse me, Sheldon. Pardon me. Not good. There is a jade mask over here, and also a strange man reference. We shall return when the light is better. Hey, mister. What about the lantern? And it's too light for it. They raised the prices at the saloon. Didn't bother to scrub the blood out of the floorboards, though. Oh well, we can get a closer look at the Jade Mask with Photo Mode. And this dressmaker's dummy seems to be dressed as the strange man, though it could be a mere coincidence, as this is the fashion of the time. However, when paired with the Jade Mask, it really seems as if this is a strange man, undead nightmare reference. Morning, mister. Morning. And look at all of those frying pans. Arthur really wants to shoot one. Just one. What harm could it do? Okay, then. And who are we fooling? Arthur is compelled. He can never limit himself to just one. That's your last chance to stop. Come to think of it, I don't think I'm talking about it. Good morning, officer. It's a compulsion. I can explain. I have a condition. Ah, 
I know you, you piece of okay, shit. Okay, throw me in jail. Damn it all to hell! God damn it, I'm taking you in! Please let me be! No, no, please! And that's how we ended up in jail. It was a turn of events, to quote Seth Bullock from Deadwood, a series I can highly recommend. The White Arabian is no worse for wear, perhaps a little embarrassed at our shenanigans. She is not suited for undercover work, far too highly strung. Hey, partner! And then riding outside of town, we found this abandoned train. There was a robbery here that we appear to have missed. We shall have the horse stay here. We don't need her following the train. Stay. Horses and trains do not mix. There's a bunch of stuff we can take. Too bad we're not doing Bandit Challenge 10. This would count. I suppose we could return this train to the station. Perhaps there is a reward. All aboard. These trains take a while to accelerate, to pick up steam, literally. That's where the saying comes from. Next stop, Saint Denis. Perhaps we should slow down within city limits. More of a guideline, really, to paraphrase Captain Barbarossa. We'll be fine. Anytime you feel like stopping, Arthur. Anytime. And I guess we'll just leave the train here, shall we?
Good afternoon, citizens. The conductor will arrive shortly. No need to thank me. Excuse me, partner. Hey, mister. Morning. Out of the damn way. Hey, folks. Hello, sir. Look out. Uh, you, mister, excuse me. A very good morning to you. Also, note these posters here. The Théâtre Râleur. Râleur is French for groan, or perhaps grumpy. So, the Grumpy Theater. And then we have Benjamin Lazarus, the epitome of magic. Very reminiscent of Harry Houdini, if you know your magic history. Who was Harry Houdini, you may be wondering. Well, it wouldn't be a Super Antonio video if we didn't whip out the old Wikipedia and learn something. Harry Houdini, to quote Wikipedia, born Eric Weiss, March 24th, 1874 to October 31st, 1926, note he died on Halloween, was a Hungarian-American escape artist, illusionist, and stunt performer, noted for his escape acts. His pseudonym is a reference to a spiritual master, French magician Robert Houdin. 1805-1871. Houdini first attracted notice in vaudeville in the United States and then as Harry Handcuff Houdini on a tour of Europe where he challenged police forces to keep him locked up. Soon he expanded his repertoire to include chains, ropes, slung from skyscrapers, straight jackets underwater, and having to escape from and hold his breath inside a sealed milk can with water in it. In 1904, thousands watched as he tried to escape from special handcuffs commissioned by London's Daily Mirror, keeping them in suspense for an hour. Another stunt saw him buried alive and only just able to claw himself to the surface, emerging in a state of near breakdown. While many suspected that these escapes were faked, Houdini presented himself as the scourge of fake spiritualists. As president of the Society of American Magicians, he was keen to uphold professional standards and expose fraudulent artists. Houdini made several movies but quit acting when it failed to bring in money. He was also a keen aviator and aimed to become the first man to fly a powered aircraft in Australia. Shout out to Australia. That first flight was extra difficult because it was upside down. Let's move on. However, we never got around to reading that Chelonia pamphlet. Do we have time to read about Chelonia? I think we do. Read herein a full and impartial account of the great teachings of our master and the discovery of Chelonia and preparation for the great journey. Praised by Anders Helgerson, Blackwater, printed for 1892. It is humbly hoped that every impartial reader will take these messages to heart and not be filled with knavery or folly or trepidation or jest or while he or she sups, but instead listen to the great teachings of our master. We traveled across great oceans fighting scurvy to arrive in this paradise. For it is not India, it is not America. It is Chelonia. You may ask, where is this Chelonia? You are already here. It is time to prepare for the journey to Chelonia. We are already there. But how does one do so? Shoe the horses, prepare the preserves, tend to the animals and wagon, prepare for the journey. We are going to Chelonia. When you see a cripple, a wicked neighbor, or a drunkard, do you fear for your safety? Do you fear the poor? Are you poor? Are you afraid of being poor? We can be safe. We can all be safe. Safe and perfect, thanks to the wisdom of the Master. Be it known that great evil lurks in many places, in a dark hollow, in a woman's heart, in the eyes of a bird of prey. But we bring truth to light and remove the dark evil from our hearts so that we can be safe. Thanks to our master, we can be that bird and prey. 
We can hold an egg up to a candle and know if life exists or if it is breakfast. Come feast in Chelonia. Where is heaven? Where is Chelonia? It is here. There are several people who cannot believe that very truth. But it was handed down over 100 years ago to our great prophet, and it is known that anything old is true. Ask the very old, you will see this to be true, unless they are too old and unable to hear and will become the worms soon enough and no longer be a burden on the family. Do not become unable to hear. All parts of this account are true, and the strictest regard shall be held for the truth, just as we know it to be true that this land is our heaven and the two oceans are our shells. Listen to those shells and you hear the oceans that we sailed. Carry the shells with you, one in each hand, and show everyone that you have the shells of truth. And should anyone not believe you, they won't follow to Chelonia and will most likely live a mediocre life in squalor. That shell of truth can make you safe. You need to be safe. Life can be safe. Now is the time to stop endangering your loved ones and make them safe. I implore you. Your children and loved ones are in great danger. Would you throw your wife off a cliff? Of course, this has never crossed your mind. Then how could you subject them to such peril? Safety, above all else. Thanks to the providence of our almighty master, 100 years ago, our great Chelonian master led pilgrims across the Lanahassee into the wilderness. Most survived the journey. There they found a great place of safety. And thanks to his teachings, now we can join them in paradise and eat fruits and nuts and slow cook creatures into delicious stew. Anger, mischief, revenge, they simply do not exist in Chelonia. America can rise to where it was always supposed to be. One hundred years ago, our master foresaw it. He told all that would listen. For paradise provides, and we are at its teats. The teats of Chelonia await you. Do not refuse it, lest you go hungry and your mother chide you. Remember these things, and tell everyone of the teats and the shells. Let us pray together and give thanks for our redemption. A place of safety, a place of wisdom, a place for the selected. A place where people stay because they have heard the ocean that lives between the two shells. And those that don't will most likely perish by drowning or swimming during the wrong moon cycle. Take this message I have told you and spread the word. Speak it before a multitude of spectators so that they may come to Chelonia with us as Chelonians. And we will rejoice then as we do now. Amen and amen and amen. Give thanks to the shells. Please show this pamphlet to your friends and neighbors. Contributions and requests for correspondence can be sent to Chelonia House, Boston, Massachusetts. Seems like a mishmash of utopian philosophy and religious mumbo jumbo, but it might offer comfort to those searching for answers or order or something greater than themselves to believe in, just don't give them any money. Looking at you, Jamie. And what happened to our horse? We can collect the white Arabian at the stables. Give me, please, help. I heard you were in the poke. You can go right back again if I hear any shit out of you. Fight to eat. Anything. Eat anything. I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. Arthur and the White Arabian will. Shit! So embarrassing. 
Arthur meant to do that. And now he's shooting at us. Where is that joker? Someone this gentleman is in need of a good thrashing. Let that be a lesson to you, sir. And where is that white Arabian? I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. Arthur and the White Arabian will be here when we get back to them, though I cannot reliably say when. However, rest assured, Free Roam Fridays is not going anywhere. It is a cornerstone of this channel, and as long as you keep watching, Arthur will keep writing. On Fridays, we free roam. I'll see you in part 90. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail. What's next?